Hmm. With this idea, I may be able to get the one up on Edelgard. This again. Hubert! I wish you would not sneak up on me like that. <laughs> Maybe you would be more perceptive if your mind were less burdened by sedition. Sedition? Absurd. This is an important project. Yes, I heard. A new way to prove how superior you are to Lady Edelgard. She is not your rival, Ferdinand. She is above you. A noble like you ought to know his place. <laughs> Anything is better than being a noble like you. Every time you open your mouth, it's Lady Edelgard this or Lady Edelgard that. Do you ever think for yourself? You follow her around like a pet. You spend all of your time fretting over her. And yet you never truly express an opinion of your own. Before you reprimand me, take a moment to consider your own failings. Your nonsense is tiresome. So I hope this will be the last time I have to remind you. Lady Edelgard is the Imperial Princess. You are merely the Prime Minister's son. Yes, I understand that. But my duty is to guide her, to give frank advice when she is on the wrong course of action. That is what I strive to do, always. Thus my devotion to surpass Edelgard, so that if she needs guidance, I will be prepared to give it. If you think it is tiresome to have a mind of your own, you will never be much of an advisor. Does the river of filth pouring out of your mouth ever stop flowing? Your obsession with all things superficial is disgusting. It's no use. You're hopeless. I'll take my leave. I have nothing more to say to you. Get out of here. <laughs> Dude, that was actually kind of a cool, uh, like, talk. Yeah. Dude, Ferdinand, I'm, I'm starting to like you, dude. <laughs> well, this is fascinating. Following this equation, Linhart, here again I see. Go away, Hubert. Now is not a good time. Ah, yes, the double line becomes a helix, and its arc. No, that cannot be correct. Now is exactly the time. Lady Edelgard requests your presence. Come. The lecture is about to start. Politely inform her that my research is vastly more important than whatever it is she has to say. While your passion may be admirable, it is sadly misdirected. This matter takes priority. Return to your hobby when your duty is done. Hobby? This research will most certainly prove useful in the future. The Empire requires you to be useful now. I should think you would want the same. You have an almost unparalleled intellect. A singular focus, an unfettered imagination. In truth, you have talents that many, including myself, will never have the privilege of possessing. Are you complimenting me, Hubert? That alone deserves to be studied. Let me finish. I haven't an ounce of respect for the cause you have chosen to waste your talents on. Which changes, frequently, I might add, with no rhyme, reason, or results. Learn to apply yourself to something constructive. You may still have a bright future. That sounds suspiciously as if you're not going to leave me alone. I just want to live a life doing things that interest me. Is that so wrong? That is unacceptable. Even for a nobleman. Her Highness will soon ascend the throne. She is attempting to deal with such noble privilege head on. You have a point, and I understand where you're coming from. But I can't do it. I can't bring myself to work for someone else. Pathetic. Keep to your books, then. Goodbye, Linhart. <laughs> I would, but he's not leaving. Has Linhart always had a ponytail? A ponytail? Yeah, Linhart has a ponytail. I just now noticed that. I did not notice that either. I thought it was just like a simple cut with nothing below him. Yeah, just a simple bob cut, but no, he's got a ponytail back there. <laughs> well, you 
you learn something new every day. Is <laughs> what, what a good game should do. On that note, hey everyone, welcome back to Indeed a Good Game. Welcome to Fire Emblem Free Houses Black E Kegel Root. In the last episode, we got fully prepped and all ready to go for our first official mission for for the church. Beforehand though, I want to make one quick note and one thing which you should always check on every so often, especially before a big fight. If you go to your roster and go into any character, on the right hand side, you are going to probably want to have a look at all, all this here. These are what are called abilities. Now, some for each character are passive. For example, every single character in this game has unique abilities, as in one. So, for us, we have increased these experience by a certain amount every time someone is is, is near us. Same thing, same, same thing for uh, Edelgard herself. And then we get to the more combat oriented ones. Hubert grants might five with gambit, evasions, HP boosts, attack power, and more attack power, and HP boosts all the same, and critical hits. Every single character is different, so you are going to want to have to keep an eye on this, because they do have a few boons every now and then. Now, another thing, are class specific skills. Seeing how we are a thief, we have the ability to uh, to steal from various opponents if our speed's qu quick enough. And this one, you are going to want to have on you at least on every big battlefield. Lock touch. You do not need keys of any s of any sort. Chests and doors are open to you regardless. However, the one thing you are going are, are going to want to check every so often are the fog standard abilities. So, if you want to look here, you have a ton in which you can change. As you can tell, the one on the left are the one are the one that you have am active. These range from like increasing uh, various skills and stats with uh, weapons or situations. Others are just straight up improvements. So, so for me, I think Casper's got the uh, the fighting down. So you know what? I think I'm gonna trade it for just a basic speed boost. Each time a character levels up a skill in whether it's classes or or through battle, they more often than not will have another one for of that very very skill. Unfortunately, the only ones which we have now are uh, Hubert, but uh, we're not uh, really in need for battalions right now. But, have fun and customize. But with that said, let's get to it. Magdred Ambush. Your house must help the Knights of Cirrus suppress Lord of the Nottles Rebellion at Castle Gaspard. Though you are told to expect combat, the deep fog at Magdred Way sets you, sets you ill at ease. Also, yes, you couldn't tell. Bring torches. They are going to be very, very useful. I recommend two characters have them. But with that said, let's get to it. No matter how powerful our enemies may be, there is no need to worry so long as we're with Catherine, the mighty wielder of Thunderbrand. You mean you don't know? My weapon is called Thunderbrand. It's one of the hero's relics. A long, long time ago, the goddess bestowed divine weapons upon ten heroes, which were passed down to their descendants. It's an honor to wield, but I'm afraid there won't be any chance for that today. Our mission is to help clean up the aftermath, not to fight. One must wonder why Lord Lenato would incite such a reckless rebellion. It all goes back to the tragedy of Dusker. I remember that day well. No one saw it coming. Roughly four years ago, the King of Fargus was murdered by the people of Dusker. I believe that about sums it up, correct? To put it simply, yes. But there's more to that story. They had accomplices within the kingdom as well. 
Lord Lenato's son, Kristoff, was one of them, and so he was handed over to the church for execution. Speaking from the church's perspective, we simply pass judgment according to our doctrine in place of the kingdom, which was in complete chaos. Whatever the truth behind that incident may be, Lord Lenato has harbored resentment toward the church ever since. Well, to be more specific, his grudge isn't only against the church. It's also against the one who turned Kristoff over to them. Report! The enemy is approaching. They can't be avoided. Their numbers are far greater than we predicted. They used the fog to slip past the Knight's perimeter. It looks like our mission just changed, Professor. Everyone, prepare for battle! Alright, and it's fight time, and you can just tell from the aesthetics alone that things are not what they seem. Although, to be fair, if you look at, if you look at here, it seems like a peaceful battlefield. There's no one here at all. We're perfectly fine. And, and for the first time since the first fight, we have allies on our side, including Catherine, who has her own weapon, and of course, some bog standard NPCs. And just a heads up, where whoever these guys live or die, there's no cons and squints, so how about it? And first off, we seem to have everyone in place. I can't see anyone who's been left out, but let's just have a quick look. See, no, 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 if everyone's here, just like Smash Brothers. <laughs> and uh, really quick, again, if you don't have any torches on you, here is... Here is your chance to uh, put some in your party, or buy them, or or just battalions or whatnot. So have at it yourself. One downside is that you technically can't see if there's any chests or or, an, or anything like that in the area. So just be prepared. But seeing how we are a thief in ourselves, we shouldn't have a problem. But now, it's fight time. There's mystery in those mists. And mutiny. With this fog, it's impossible to tell where the enemy might be, or how many of them there are. The enemy could be trying to surround us, but they shouldn't have enough soldiers to form a tight circle. Take down anyone who breaks through the fog, and let's push through! That smell. It's fresh blood. It seems the battle has already started within the fog. Proceed with caution. Wait for them to enter your field of view. As you can probably see, there we are. Okay, yeah, sure, apparently I was wrong. If you keep these allies alive, then it's fine. I'm thinking of another fight, so never mind then. Okay, so as you can probably see as here, we wish. have an NPC here. Luckily, Hubert can take that guy out in one foul swoop, and there's nothing he can do. Goodbye. That's also well, well and good. So, if we move, say, Caspar a little bit forward, where, uh, where he is, the area around him gets lit up just a little bit. But, as you, as you can imagine, what he leaves behind gets fogged up if we didn't have anyone here here with us. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Of course you are. <laughs> anyway, however though, if you were to say use a torch, the area gets lit up around you for a brief period a brief period of time and and it gives you an opportunity to see what's ahead. Now, this kind of fights are not are not going to be a majority of what you're going to be facing, but it will be a mechanic that pops up here and there. So, and most of the time, and I say most of the time, the game has a good habit of of letting you know what's coming. Up. Yeah, the fog gives me PTSD of a certain fight we struggled with in our Blue Lions Let's Play. Uh huh. Oh god, I am. In, I'm going to be in. Enjoying that one. Lord Lenato doesn't deserve such sadness and anger. Now it's your turn to suffer. Yeah. And Bernie gets her first battalion level up. Very, very nice. You think we're just gonna do nothing while you try to kill our lord? 
And everyone is being really mean to Bernie. I they don't always are. I don't I, know why. I don't understand. Maybe but, it's because they're trying to whittle down the pot shotter. Maybe. And just an example, um, a Dorothea's unique skill is any character that has t taken damage that's either directly above, left, right, or down, they get they get healed somewhat. So again, everyone has their uses. So I am pretty much just going hang me. What can Bernie do right now? Cause she killed this guy outright, unfortunately no. That's alright though. Dorf I don't know if he can do that with a Thoron. With a Thoron. <laughs> uh -huh. She's got a rifle somewhere, so it should be okay. <laughs> So there goes that guy, and in case you are dissatisfied with your uh, party member which you have borrowed from another party, at the end of every month they go away, so mm, make whatever time you can. But Petra's just gonna go over and just murder some fools. And move on with our lives. Ber Bernie, I'm gonna stick you in the shadows, as always. And then Caspar, I'm gonna have you. Actually, can I do anything regarding you? I can, aha. Sorry, Catherine, you are not going to take my thunder. It is a good idea for you uh, for you to take the init initiative and kill as many people on your own as you can, because Catherine and every other one of these NPCs that you have, they have the abil ability to kill enemies and if they do you do not get a lick of their experience points so yes even though they are useful to have around in the fight it is also a, um, a detriment to let them do all the work so just be careful in how much you use and abuse also same thing goes for your borrowed uh, party members they do the exact same thing as well I'm going to have Edelgard use as a torch, and we have quite a lot ahead of us, so just be on the safe side there. You're weak. Okay, it clearly went, went through her, I'm sorry. There's no point in dodging when she's pretty much a tank. <laughs> Just like every other character, they also can take critical hits. And just look at Catherine right now. This... She does 30 damage per swing. It took her a while, but... Damn! <laughs> Everybody seems quiet in this fight. Well, it's tense. You're in the midst. So I'm already blame, blame them. Now, what I'm going to do for an act of self-preservation against against my own judgment, I am going to have to heal the church so soldiers because it's not ideal, but it, it is a way for your members on, on their own to get a little bit of the XP. And no, you don't get affinity boost by, by healing no, no, and nobodies. <laughs> because, because that's what they are. They're, they're nobodies. <laughs> Unless the gatekeeper was fighting out here. In which case, give him all the love. <laughs> he need he needs his own DLC. I want his own game. He protect and he attack. He protect. <laughs> oh my God, that meme! That meme will never die. <laughs> I can't do anything with Dorothea right now. She does. It does have her own unique gambit, in which we can't use yet. Or don't have the opportunity to uh, u utilize, but hopefully in time we will. I'll have Hubert uh, rally Edelgard because why not? After what we've seen with him and Ferdinand. And Casper, I feel like for safety reasons, I'm just gonna have him go straight on and attack uh, the uh, ma a magic user. I won't let you anywhere near Lord Lanato. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think he's listening. Thank God, if you miss four shots, I swear. 
But yeah, to your point though, everyone does seem a bit quiet. <laughs> I mean, the only thing that I heard is, I am Ferdinand. Nothing left to hide you or the filthy central church from the judgment of the goddess. In some fights, it does take uh, uh, an enemy to go down that uh, had really take care of that kind of thing. So with a uh, so with a regard, I'm kind I'm kind of an empath here, but you know what? I feel like I feel like uh, for the next turn, Dorothy and Petra gun or. Or, or Dorothy and and Bernie are gonna have their own adventure. In the meantime, though, uh, Petra's going to just swing her sword sword and then just be the end of that guy. Yeah, everyone's quiet. I don't get why. This is not usually what happens. It worries me because the last time this happened, it was because the HDMI wasn't plugged into the switch all the way. But we're not sounding any different, so I feel like we're okay. Well, either way, it doesn't matter. I am just going to have a Halo Guard just go up to the front lines like the tank she is, and then we'll just see what, what the enemy does next. Just one SWAT. <laughs> but she's she's nervous about it, okay? Leave her alone. <laughs> oh my god, I've killed a man! And this is Petra's special ability. Whenever an enemy is... Please don't die. I'm sorry, but I don't believe Lord Lenato has the strength to carry on. Anyway, sorry about that. Petra's special ability is that when an, an enemy is less than 50% of her health, she gets an increased critical rate. So, keeping Petra on the front lines and just keeping her healed every so often, she can mow, she can mow down enemies in no time flat. Uh, which, in all honesty, makes Petra one of my favorite parts of the Black Eagle house. Because she can just wreck shop. Well, anyway, I kept my promise. Uh, Dorothy and Bernie are gonna have a, are gonna have their own adventures, so let's just go with that. And uh, Dorothy, uh... okay, or oh, Dorothy it can take the glory for herself, like the songstress <laughs> she is. Fair enough, then. I guess Ber, I guess Bernie would just go into the front line and just strike people down. My God. Uh, yeah, Caspar, if you could just make make with the punchy punch and deadly deads, go for it. <laughs> See what I tell you. He's all good. Um, Caspar's special ability is that when he is the one engaging his, in combat, he his evasion gets gets a pretty good in increase. I'll get to third now when I can actually, like, do something with it. In the meantime, I will this just heal up. I'll just heal, heal that boy. Now, I want to stay ahead of Catherine because even though what that cutscene showed, it doesn't actually make her increase at all. Yeah, because oh. in our blue lines, let's play, she actually turned around when we were approaching Lord Lenato. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I plan on showing that. <laughs> It might take it might take me a few turns, but uh, ooh, ooh, we'll get there. Yeah. 
Everyone's in stoic silence. And now the game actually goes e easy on you because Catherine is not a she's not a quick mover in her own right. So the game knows to uh, to take its time and not completely en engulf your engulf your potential at leveling up because otherwise that'd be silly. Although Catherine does seem like she wouldn't be afraid of like hogging all of the glory, but you know we'll get to that where when it happens. Meanwhile, uh, I forgot our next user, so you know what, I'm just going to go up here and I'll probably have Edelgard hold the line. And also, ooh, yeah, this is something I want to show off. Everyone else has com has combat arts, but if you, if you, if you choose, you can have, you can have arts which affect your party members. So, here's one for example. Swap? Well, it's as you say. Everyone just... Steps to the side and just swaps places. And trust me, you are going to want to use this for uh, uh, throughout your game because they uh, they uh, they can either assist or they can save save you. As don't snore or uh, don't really quick. I made that mistake during my first playthrough. Not even a level up comment. <laughs> nope. And everyone can just go up. They harder you? can heal because why not? Yeah, no, I'm gonna have Bernie be in the background there. I'll be nice, I'll have Caspar uh, go through that. Petra will be in the jungle. And kill that man. And the thing that I just showed, it is a good idea to see the arrows on the ground and where your character is going to end up. Trust me, this freaked me out a hell of a lot during our first playthrough because I did not know that was a thing because I was thinking, ah yes, my character will just stop right before that character and then I'll plan ahead where in actually no, if they, they were making twists and turns and whatnot. And it screwed me over. Trust me, it was not fun. Like I said, just by her own stats, Petra is just mowing people down. I get the feeling she's gonna be the MVP in this fight. <laughs> and of course, a uh, entire army just went through and missed us. How? Okay, okay, wait, two armies. And here's the thing that I think sucks, but I kind of understand. Even if a gambit does no damage, it can still affect you um, negatively. Uh, like that, for example, our next movement is going to be hindered. Of course, Catherine took down like, the big guy, which is not fun. I want to take that guy down. Let me just see. I can't do anything with Ferdinand yet, so that's, that's a bit of a shame. So I'll just have uh, Hubert destroy people because I can. Right, Mr. Smiley. Bernie, go on ahead. We all move exactly no spaces. All right, but you know what I'll do? Hey, Bernie, you just moved. I like that space. Doink. And of course, Mercy will give a nice, pleasant wah wah heal to Hubert. Ain't he nice? Ain't he nice? Meanwhile, Dorothea and Linhart are making friends with uh, the uh, with that guy over there. Yeah, he all just 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 to get the uh, the exp out the way. 
Caspar can go head first. But I wouldn't go into head first battle straight straight away because as as per usual, there is gonna be some unique unique dialogue here. And like I said before, I do wanna show You I will be the one to kill you. No other You have lost all sense of justice. You wanna fight me? So be it. I'll send you to meet your goddess. Now, here's the thing. Do not pay any heed to that dialogue. And like I said during uh, at the previous fight, Catherine and Lenato will not clash in this fight. Catherine may uh, may talk or uh, may talk a big game, but she uh, but she will not engage the uh, she will not engage Lenato. She'll just mosey around in his uh, in in his bushes for a bit. It is very weird on how it says it it says a big fight's gonna happen, but yet it never does. Mm -hmm. But oh well. Uh, so anyway, unfortunately, we are not gonna we are not gonna get a chance to show off the unique uni dialogue for ourselves. But hopefully, a fatal god might be able to do that. But who might? You know what? For affinity reasons, I am gonna have Petra move here. Caspar move there. Bernie move as close as you can because if I am able to get it just right. I'm not gonna take any damage, thank god, but let's just do it now. You have been deceived by that witch. I will show you the truth. And I am just going to... Yeah, because the best thing you can do now is you can just clog up the uh, at the area. Because I don't know if this is a thing, but I don't know if if, if the random NPCs uh, would, uh, would engage in combat and not Catherine. Meanwhile, they missed a big bulky shield, shield lady. How? Yeah, sure. As you saw, Catherine chose to not not move at all. At least she didn't turn around and run. <laughs> oh no, that, that's very true. Very, very true. So again, I am just going to clog up this entire range just so no one else can uh, gain access. Because I am a greedy person. I'm going to have Bernie move there. Alright, now let us move in and attack and hopefully see uni, uni dialogue for this. Unfortunately, no. That vile woman. Christoph, forgive me. I never thought I'd see Lenato meet this fate. Well done, everyone. Let's gather our troops and go. Secret book, aka a magic up. Got a icon. That's either faith increase or charm. Oh look, never mind. Now, and let me guess, Petra. Yeah. It's almost like she killed little many people. <laughs> Damn it, it was all so pointless. I've never seen so many people utterly heartbroken. Forcing innocent citizens to risk their lives? That man was not a noble, but a monster. What could have pushed Lord Lenato to this point? Everyone was a bit shaken by the militia fighting alongside our enemies. If only everyone could face reality so unflinchingly. 
The commoners who allied themselves with Lord Lenato believe they were fighting for a just cause. It would be disrespectful to consider them simply victims when they died for what they believed in. Still, we have no choice but to eliminate those who cling to unreasonable ideas of justice. Even if our enemies are the gods themselves, we must never lose sight of our goal. I'm surprised to hear you say that. Really, I'm just like Lenato. I, too, will be the sort of ruler who's willing to risk the lives of my citizens in service of a higher cause. It's not possible to change the world without sacrifice. Dying for the greater good is not a death in vain. Professor, I'm afraid this incident is far more serious than anticipated. I found this on Lord Lenato. It's a note that mentions a plan to assassinate Lady Rhea. We can't tell who sent it, so the source is suspect, but the content is too disturbing to ignore. We must report this to Lady Rhea right away. I hope that it's nothing. I am glad to see that you have returned safely. The Goddess is gracious with her divine protection. But it was not only her divine protection that shielded you, was it? You are just as skilled as I had hoped. I am not so sure. I heard some of the students were hesitant about fighting militia. However, we must punish any sinner who may inflict harm upon believers, even if those sinners are civilians. I pray the students learned a valuable lesson about the fate that awaits all who are foolish enough to point their blades towards the heavens. Our real concern is what Catherine reported, the secret message that was in Lord Lenato's possession. It contained a deplorable plot to target the Archbishop on the day of the Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. The plan seems unrealistic at best, but a threat is a threat. We must maintain constant vigilance. To that end, I would like for you and your students to help with security on the day of the ritual. That is most reassuring. You have my gratitude. The rite of rebirth is of paramount importance. It is when the Church of Seros and its believers unite to pray for the return of the Goddess. The Archbishop and I will be confined to the Goddess Tower once the ritual begins. Of course, the knights will be on high alert as well. But there aren't enough of them to keep watch on every corner of the monastery. It is far from ideal to be forced to mobilize students, but the gravity of this situation requires that we all bend to avoid breaking. While there is no need to fear for my safety, we cannot turn a blind eye to those who would blaspheme so heinously. With any luck, this will all be for naught. Still, be on your guard. <laughs> 